Good news for car drivers west of Frankfurt, the Schierstein Bridge has reopened. You can all now breathe a sigh of relief, and for the rest of us it's a really good example of German thoroughness averting a potential disaster. The Schierstein Bridge is over a kilometre long and about 55 years old. In 2006, an investigation into some cracks concluded that they were so serious the entire bridge would have to be replaced. Speed limits were introduced and by 2008 the entire bridge had a speed limit of 60 kilometres an hour. In addition, inspections which are normally carried out every three years were being done every six months. In February of this year, construction workers on the new bridge noticed that one of the supports had slightly tipped over, allowing the bearing to pop out and causing the roadway to sag 30 centimetres. For those of you who are still not used to the metric system, that's a foot. That may not seem like much to a layman, but German engineers take no chances. They close the bridge. The problem is, the Schierstein Bridge is a very important link in the local autobahn network and a very important connection between the cities of Mainz and Wiesbaden, carrying about 80,000 vehicles a day. Closing it was not a trivial matter. There were traffic jams. Other bridges in the area were hopelessly overloaded. Signs as far away as Koblenz had to direct traffic onto alternate routes. An overreaction, perhaps? Well, maybe. But taking unnecessary precautions is still much better than taking no precautions at all, especially when people's lives are at risk. They used 20 hydraulic jacks to raise the roadway back to its original position and synthetic resin to seal the cracks. It's a temporary fix, but at least they were able to reopen the bridge, which they did at 5am on Monday, April the 13th. Well, partially. It's only open to vehicles up to 3.5 tonnes in weight. They have installed signs, warning lights, sensors, barriers, all to dissuade truck drivers from trying to use the bridge. And any truck that is driving towards the bridge will receive an automatic warning over the radio in eight languages. And and if any truck still ignores all of that and tries to get onto the bridge itself, there is a chicane to stop them. Which is why, 17 minutes after the bridge had reopened, drivers going towards Wiesbaden had to wait for an hour while a 40-ton truck was dragged out of the chicane it had jammed itself into. Remember, you can always send me a postcard at this address. You can also find me elsewhere on the web. Visit rubos.com to find out how. It is amazingly complicated. Here's how complicated it is. Are you ready? 